Hello and welcome to part 4. This time let's go ahead and open up the animation blueprint again and start working on the anim graph. Now the anim graph is pretty empty right now. It only has this final animation pose and we really want to add start off by adding the iKinema rig node. So type in iKinema and type VR. Then you're going to get this iKinema for VR using something blah blah blah. So connect this one up and you can see it takes in a pose so it was if we compile this it will say that the in pose was visible but ignored and that is where I will place my idle animation. Now we have a head task and a head, two hands. So we should create some task for these. So if I just drag this one out, I get this option to use make Akinema solve a task, or I can use the Akinema setup task. Now both of these are pretty much identical. The Akinema version, which is this one, cannot be uh, collapsed, which is kind of annoying, but it comes with some better default values. So the blend to target is among one of them, you want to set, you want to set the alpha, and we want to work in component space, and we want to enable translation and orientation. So I, I'm, I still prefer to use uh, auto-generated UE4 node, this one. And just to finish this up, I'm going to connect up the head to this one. So for now, we can just duplicate this one because they are going to be the same. So we connect up the hand and the other hand. And that is really all that is needed for now. Oh, and one more thing, actually, I forgot. Inside the big iKinema node, that was actually pretty important. We need to do something in here as well. We need to set the hip transform. And this tells us which uh, bone is the hip transform. If we don't set this, for some reason, it won't work. And then we also should set the foot transforms. So add four of them, two for each foot. So on the bone here, we scroll down and find the foot L. Collapse this one. And find the ball L. Collapse. And then find the foot R. and the ball R, like that. Now if we, we refresh this one, then we're going to get all these nodes here, which I'm not intending to change at all, so I'm going to uncheck this one and uncheck this one. That was a find under offset. And then it's back to normal. So now we can hit save and compile. So that should be all we need to start our first test. So I'm going to go and get my headset and see how it looks. Okay, so now I just need to find the spot in the room where I'm standing on top of the character. Since the character is not moving around right now, I have to stand on top of him in order to get this to look correctly. So you can't see this right now because I don't have my webcam on, 
but I'm going to do that in some of the future videos. So one thing you also notice is that I'm missing the shadow of the head. And that's obviously because I took it off. And you can see the hands that are moving are the VR hands from the Epic Games template. So we don't have animations on the full body hand itself right now. And you will also notice that they are a bit off and that is the part where you need to tweak a little bit still. But in general, you will get the idea now how we can set this up. And that is what we're going to continue on working with in the next episodes to come. So for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next. Bye-bye.